We are the Malta Mediterranean Conference Center and in La Valletta and we have the big pleasure now to meet Blue. I think you're not just here for doing holidays for this, this week, are you? Oh, no, 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 we're here to, to promote the Eurovision. We are the UK's entry and we're, we're very proud of it. Um, we're proud to be here in Malta because I know the Maltese people uh, take the, the competition ever so seriously. So it's an honour to be here and performing tonight and to the Maltese fans, so it's great. We've seen you last night on the balcony in the show, and uh, oh, yeah. what did you think about the production of the Maltese uh, National Final? I thought it was fantastic. I mean, the show looked fantastic. The, the sound quality was brilliant. Um, we've just come back from doing a sound check now, and we really love being on that stage singing. The sound was, was fantastic, so well done to the, the sound team, because they've done a fantastic job. And, and the lighting, the set, everything is, is, looks brilliant. Now, you have been at the Eurovision yeah, kind yeah. Of before in the national final in the yeah. UK in 2006 uh, with Des Samson yeah. taking the That's trophy for you. But, but how is it for you to come back to Eurovision? Board? Do you know what? I've been given a second chance. Um, I know for a fact Eurovision is, is, is very big where, where I come from, especially in Cyprus. So it's an honour for me to be back with the lads um, and, and performing in front of all those millions of people. So yeah, great. Simon, maybe you, you uh, can tell us, where does the name Blue come from? <laughs> oh, the, the name Blue, it, it, was, it came out of the blue, to be fair. It was, uh, we just didn't, we wanted a name that didn't say boy band. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, you know, as we were thinking about names, we were thinking like Pink and Simply Red, Simply Red and, you know, you know successful people who had, who had, the, who had, had colour. the colour um, in their name. So, Blue, Blue. blue you come up with Blue, yeah, you come so up, he said come up blue. blue. What about Blue? I remember sitting on the tube, innit, going into the tube. <laughs> what about blue? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. No, but you I said, innit? You went about blue, two. and I went, yellow. Yeah, yeah, what about yellow? <laughs> 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 and it was all yellow. <laughs> I was all right, lad. And then two weeks later, you know, um, uh, I think it was the head of the label said, What do you think of the name blue? And, uh, you know, just felt for it was destiny. Fantastic. Yeah. And of course, a lot of big hits followed. 40 number one hits around Europe you had, yeah. and like All Eyes and yeah. uh, Real Close, or Too yeah. Close it's called. Yeah. And w one special one, which I, I think is, is fantastic, you worked together with Elton John on Sorry Seems to Be the Artist yeah. Artist World. Yeah. How is it to work with uh, Elton John together? Well, I mean, it was, I, so I come up, it was my idea to do the song, mm -hmm. but, um, because I've always been a mad, like crazy fan of Elton John since I was younger. I grew up listening to him and it was like, for me, personally, it was like, I, I never, I, I used to say to my mum when I was younger, I want, like, one day I want to sing with Elton John, and she used to say, keep praying, son, keep praying. <laughs> and, um, and I did, and um, it came true, but I mean, as for us as a group, it was, it was one of our biggest hits around, around the, the world, world, really. Um, it went number one in how many countries? I think it was like 27 countries, wasn't it, or something like that. It was um, it was an absolute like hit for us and an actual you know a privilege. I actually sent Elton John a message the other day, saying um, you know again thank you so much for you know singing a song that really was such an honour for me and I still get, I can't get over it. I don't know he didn't reply but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really amazing. And um, now let's come to the Eurovision. Uh, when did you find out and how did you find out that you were going to sing for the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest? Well, we got approached by uh, the BBC last year. They asked us if we'd like to represent our country. You know, we we sat down and talked about it, and it, we had lots of meetings, and then we decided we'd like we'd like to do it. Um, Simon said something that was really lovely. Um, there's not many opportunities you get in your life to mm -hmm. do something like representing something for your country. And we've been given a massive opportunity to represent, you know, the United Kingdom. And, and that's how many people can say they've represented their country in mm -hmm. something, whether it's in athletics or sports or football. Or, and we're getting an opportunity to do it with something that we all love and that's singing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're just really excited to be doing it. And we're, we're getting to see all of Europe again yeah. 10 years later from when we started. So this is, this is a great it's opportunity. Amazing. Uh, now you're in Malta to promote your, your entry, which we're going to talk about in just a few seconds. Uh, which other countries are you going to visit? Um, Apart from the Netherlands, now we heard that you're going to <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go to Amsterdam. <laughs> we're going to Netherlands. Um, yeah, we're off to Spain next week, Italy, mm -hmm. Greece, Cyprus. Um, France. France. Germany. Germany. Um, Russia. Yeah. Hopefully some Russian some countries, countries, countries as well. So I think, I mean, we want to see as many fans as possible. Um, on, on this journey and um, you know it is all about trying to you know make people aware that blue are mm -hmm. back and we are doing Eurovision and we're representing so we can get those votes so 
I'm not afraid as a huge, huge superstar band to uh, go to your vision as last year, you know, UK's entry, Josh ended up last. I'm not afraid that this might damage your career. No, I mean, this is... We can't get any lower. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do any worse, can we? But, you know, for us, this is, we've got, uh, this is, Simon said, this is our 10th year anniversary. We've got an album which we're making at the moment, which is coming off the back of this. Um, and this is a great promotional um, a tool for us to be going all around Europe promoting. And, you know, we're representing our country as well. We're flying the, you know, the great British flag for our country. And, you know, we're very proud to be British and we're really proud to be doing Eurovision in 2011. And, Hopefully, we're going to get some more points Definitely. than we did last year. So oh, yeah. you I you think we only, managed, <laughs> we only managed 12 last year, I think. Was, that, was it 12 we got last year, that was it? You're going to, to Germany. Does anybody of you speak German? Yeah. It's been good stanker. Okay. That's yeah. the story. <laughs> I think it's good, yeah. Um, your song, let's come to speak about the song, um, I Can. T who, who wrote who wrote the song and uh, what it is about? Um, me, me and Duncan wrote the song. Um, I think it's it's quite poignant as a group. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of kind of especially in our own country about us reforming as a group. I think you know the 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 take that reformation was kind of before they came out was held with a lot of kind of um, not animosity but kind of. Negativity, Negativity yeah. um, to, to them coming back, being like an older group, and I think we're the the last group to sort of of, of our generation to come back, mm -hmm. and um, I think you know on top of that we've now got into a, a competition that is also held with a lot of negativity in our country. So I mean we've got a double whammy right here, <laughs> we're both like kind of coming back, and, and we kind of put our neck on the line really. Um, in, in a lot of people's eyes, but we don't see it like that. We see it as a great platform. And it's called, that's why it's called I Can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, coming back around, can, uh, coming back around to the song. One. I do do that, you don't can, I? Can, can. I go off on one sometimes. Yeah. I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it, uh, yeah, basically that's what the song's about. It's saying <laughs> I can, I will, you know, like. I'm it's very powerful. It's, yeah. it's an anthemic song. <laughs> it's, it's very positive and we're, you know, it's, I think it's, it, the lyrics are just right for us coming back 10 years later. Mm. Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's an anthem, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a big anthem, isn't it? And it's about It's, about it's a classic blues song. Have you been able to watch Eurovision in the past? Yeah. And have you any favourites from, from the contest? We start with Anthony. Yeah, um, well, I said my family are big Eurovision fans, especially mm. my mum and my gran and that from Cyprus. So I've got loads of memories. What do you want? Um, Anna Vichy in 89 with Aspro Mavro. Mm -hmm. I've got um, Sagis Ruvaz from Greece, top singer. Um, Dana International, she, well, that person was uh, interesting, wasn't it? You might meet her again, huh? she's competing in the, in oh, the is she? Swedish final, yes. Oh, brilliant, okay, well, I look forward to that. And um, <coughs> Katrina and the Waves, she was the last people to, to win it for the UK. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a. I like the Eurovision, it's good to see. Fantastic. What about you? I said it all. You said it all. You saw for me, I, really, I, really I concur. Liked, I really liked um, the, the girl that's the, in Germany that Lina. won it last, Lena. Lena, she I was loved, great. I thought she was amazing. And I think it just represents that the fact that, that it, this competition is, it's, there's a high talent. It's a very high talented, very yeah. some amazing singers and some great songs. And I think we, we would, in no way means or you know go into this conversation thinking that that we you know because we're an established act that we are gonna yeah, have anything yeah, over anyone else because the, you know there's the, the standard of this competition is very very high mm. and um, it's, it's great to be a part of but it's actually quite nerve-wracking as, as an established group because you know they <laughs> expect you to to win. do to win basically <laughs> yeah. maybe I don't know I don't know but I think well, the thing is for us as well you know we've we've been away from the business for five years so we haven't really got the right to just to come back and be like, we're here, you know, we, we work really hard to become established first time around mm -hmm. and we're going to work really hard now to get established the second time around. And I don't think that we should be given any special preferences because we're an established act mm -hmm. than anybody else. We're in the same competition as everybody else mm -hmm. and we want to give everybody, um, we just want everyone to know that, you know, we, we're, we're one of the 25 countries and we're just going to do our best for our country and hopefully people will vote and, and that's, that's all, it, all we can do really. And we're going to give it our best. Fantastic. Blue, thank you very much for giving us the interview. All the best of that. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.